Am I right or wrong here? It seems every day there's a new scientific study, but should we believe every one of them? Joining us is Dr. Yvette David. We call her Dr. Y. Hi, Yvette. Hi. Can I just tell you how much I love my little stethoscope in the shape of a Y? Do you like that? Just had to say that. Yes. You know what? And we did that just for you. Okay. Study in The Lancet that claimed a link between measles shots and autism has been retracted. So people in Britain stopped taking their kids to get the shots and four kids died. Now the journal says the researcher was unethical in conducting the study. So you figure there's 12 new studies every day, and uh, often a new one contradicts the one we heard last month. What do we believe if we're sitting at home? If I had one word to say, which I never do, but if I did, it would be vaccinate. This study, um, like they said in the research, it's very questionable the way he got his data for the study. I'm actually shocked that Lancet, which is a very good journal, put this study in with what I think was without doing their homework. So um, we know autism rates are going up. They're trying to figure out why, but there is no data to support that vaccinations can cause autism. And like you said, the, the lack of vaccinating, the fact that rates have gone down, we're seeing deaths from diseases that were pretty much off the, off the world at this time. Right. You know, I, I'm just concerned. And just a couple of seconds here, because I want to move on to another topic as well. But uh, every day, I mean, I watch the Channel 4 News. You know, chocolate's good for you. Chocolate's bad for you. Drink coffee. Don't drink coffee. I mean, you don't know what to believe. When do you finally say, okay, this one works? Well, really, when Dr. Y says so. No, but seriously, (laughs) sorry, I had to. But seriously, we have to look at all the data um, from the source. And that's what we're taught in medical school, to really analyze how the data was put together before we take it as gospel. Okay. Um, we got about 30 seconds. One more quick one, okay? Sure. You know, the iPad is coming out. More doctors are soon going to be using electronic devices for patient records. Okay, are there security issues here for patients? Is it safe to keep records in this fashion? Absolutely. I think it's the best thing that we're doing for patient care. We are already using electronic medical records. What this is doing is allowing doctors to have these records with them when they're rounding you know, the information on the blood tests and the x-rays right at their fingertips, and we're doing everything to keep things safe. So I think it's a huge asset to the um, to medicine. Dr. Y, with your Y stethoscope, <laughs> it was great talking to you. I'll talk to you again soon. Thanks, Yvette. Thank, thank you. Bye-bye. Okay.